Hi, I'm Colleen. I've been working with Sue from Createful Journals to bring you your Createful cover templates. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to the templates and to show you what it is that we've provided for you. I'm also going to point out a couple of the PowerPoint features that it would be wise to know about um, in order to make your life easier when you work with these templates. Um, I'm going to finish off with a very simple edit to one of the templates just to show you how quick and easy it is to do the bare minimum basic edit and produce a, a cover that can then go on to be published in Kindle or wherever else you may publish. So let's have a look and see what it is we have in front of us. I've opened up one of the bonus covers. Um, on slide two, you can see it's the autumn cover. Now, what I recommend you do before we go ahead or before you go ahead with creating your covers is go to File, Save As, and give your cover another name. Save it as something else. I'm going to call this one Autumn. Um, and that way, when you are working with your covers, um, you'll know that if you need to, you can go back and open up the master again because at the moment it's safely stored away somewhere. So let's quickly look at what comes in a PowerPoint cover template for you. When you open a template, you'll see on slide one, there's a little note. I encourage you to read it. Um, it tells you what we've given you, as well as give you a little mini, call it a checklist. Um, and right at the bottom, there's this little red gentle reminder of just to double check things that you need to do before you create your final PDF or your final JPEG. Now let's go to View, Guides, and you'll see that we've given you red guides and blue guides. The slides themselves are set up exactly to the size of the KDP template. So anything you create must be the size of this template edge to edge. The red guides indicate the page size. So that is where the guillotine is going to cut. That is the exact size of your book. The blue guidelines, those indicate where we need to stay inside of. Those are your type area lines and you'll see we've got blue lines around the inside of the front cover. We've got the blue lines around the inside of the back cover and we've got teeny tiny little blue lines around the inside of the spine. Okay, so you've got the guidelines that you can work with as well. You can turn them on, you can turn them off, you can turn them on again if you need to. It's up to you. What's important that we've given you is if you go to Slide Master, still on the Views ribbon, now go to Slide Master, you'll see we're sitting on a blank master. Underneath that, you've got the KDP master. This master slide is made up of the KDP um, template itself, the image. I've put a darker blue rectangle around the page size to indicate the page size. And I've put a lighter blue rectangle to indicate the trim, uh, sorry, the type area. So when you are customizing your PowerPoint templates, you need to make sure that you are within the light blue area for any text that you're typing and your images must extend all the way to the edge of the red. Then also on this template is the little white box or rectangle for the barcode. That we'll be using just now when we create our customized cover, but that just shows you what we've given you to work with to make sure that your uh, covers meet the KDP requirements. Okay, let's close the master view and I'm going to 
turn off my guidelines. View, turn off guidelines. Let's now move down to slide number two. Yay, <laughs> this is getting closer to the, the fun bits. Um, you know, going through an introductory video is a bit like starting your first day of school or your first day of course or module one of a course. Um, it's the theory. You ne always need to go through the, the theory, the boring bits. And as we move on, we get closer to what you're interested in. So this would be slide number two. Slide number two is your, your template. Um, it's a bit like a canvas has been prepared for you. As you know, you can do a very simple change to this, or you could just add a title, your branding, save, and there you go, you've got a cover. But um, I'm sure the more you get involved with your templates and the more you see you can do with them, you're not going to be doing that. Of course, there's nothing to stop you doing that if you like a template or if you're in a hurry or you're just feeling lazy. Um, go ahead, add your, your title, add your branding, um, maybe shift one or two things around and there you have it, save your template. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to take uh, this template, I'm going to go to the home page and I'm going to insert a text box. And I'm going to call this one, my family's, oops, eh? my family's Thanksgiving journal. Right, now, this is where, when I mentioned earlier that, um, you know, it's a good idea to know your way around PowerPoint. We're going to go to the, um, uh, to the text formatting. I'm going to change my font and make it a little bit more exciting. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I also want to have Thanksgiving and journal on separate lines. Right, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Now I'm not so mad about the black. So again, in my text formatting window, I can go to my eyedropper tool and pick up a complementary color from anything that's here on my page. Not necessarily a complementary color. I can select a color from anything on the page. So let's select something that is, mm, let's go for the, a lighter color. See how that works. It does get a bit lost now, it's a bit flat. So now I'm going to move along to the shape formatting ribbon. And here for my text, options, text formatting. I have text effects. I'm going to lift it off the page. I'm going to give it a shadow, which you can do on the home ribbon as well. But more than that, I'm going to give it a bevel. Oh, sorry, I've opened up the wrong thingy here. I'm going to give it a bevel. Um, and the reason I know I'm going to do that is because I've already played with it. This is where that word playing comes in again and maybe make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Right, as I'm working, I'm checking as well. And again, another good feature to have up your sleeve is on the view window ribbon again, where you would then say zoom and I'm going to zoom in 200% to check. Yeah, that's okay for now. It might not be something I would be very happy to publish, but for the purposes of this video, it's going to be quite fine. Right, so once I've seen what it looks like and I'm happy, I can either fit to window here or down at the bottom right of the screen. All that's left for us to do now is to insert our branding and the little box for the little rectangle for the barcode. 
So I have my little logo ready. Um, you'll find I enjoy shortcuts. I'm just going to pick it up and drag it onto my page. I could go insert picture and so on. This time it would bring me to the set to the correct folder because I've been working in here today but um, sometimes I might land on my desktop and then I've got to go looking. So as a shortcut I go straight to my folder and drag my image in onto my page. Just enlarge it a little bit and I'm going to add a text box with my branding um, www.createfuljournals.com There we go. Now, how is this sitting on the page? Nobody knows. Uh, I know that I've got something on the front and I've got something on the back, but where on the front and where on the back, I'm not too sure. So this is where I would go to view, guides, double check, it's within my type area. My family's Thanksgiving journal, I can actually move over a little bit more to the left to balance out with the leaves on the right. Uh, create for journals, I can make sure that it's centered. If I open up the text box, and center my text. There we go. And then I think I'm going to move this leaf and put my little logo in there instead. Okay, and I'll just move the leaf further up. Right, that's my cover. If I want to see what it's going to look like without all the bits on the side, if you go to zoom, zoom here, I can check my thumbnail or I can come down to reading pane or slideshow. I'm going to go and have a look in the reading view and it looks good enough for me. Then just press escape key to come out of it. Um, something that's important now is to save. Either file save or just hit the little save icon at the top of your screen. Well, we're almost there. Let's just go back to slide one. Remember slide one? Um, as I said, I encourage you to read it. But the first line in slide one says the white rectangle for the KDP bar barcode is on the template master slide. So that's easy. We know where to go. Slide master, KDP template. There's our little rectangle. Copy it, control C rather than going to home slide all the rest of it. I like shortcuts, control C, close master view, go to slide two and paste, control V. There we have it. It's in exactly the right position. You'll see in the next video when we're actually working with the KDB template, um, how it is almost foolproof. So all that's left to do now is to go to view, guides off, and double check on the home ribbon that we are on a blank template. We go back to the page one, slide one, delete the slide, save. We're saving the PowerPoint slide first before we go ahead and save as our PDF or JPEG. So now we have our PDF saved or submitted and we have our PowerPoint. We've got a cover. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can work with this cover and um, create some very unique looking covers. As I've said, before um, you're limited by your imagination. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit long-winded and I know it was spread out over a, a few extra minutes than what we are used to and like to watch these days. But um, please come along, watch the next video. You'll see it gets more interesting, more fun as we go along. I hope it, you find it useful. I will be giving a lot of verbal tips as I speak through the videos uh, because as I've said, PowerPoint is a very strong program. It's come in leaps and bounds and anybody could be happy to produce their covers using PowerPoint. I mean, obviously it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that some of the more advanced proper graphic programs do but for what we need it for, it is more than sufficient. So this brings us to the end of this first video. And as I mentioned, in the next one, we're going to take the template that we worked on today and using the KDP template that we've provided together with a very useful tool that is in PowerPoint, the selection pane, we are going to work with the elements on this template and add a couple of graphics of our own and produce a couple of unique, completely different um, covers. Obviously, when you get going and you start working with it, you won't be limited to only two covers, but it's going to be enough for you. What we do will be enough for you to see that once again, I've said it before, you will only be limited by what your imagination allows you. We'll also be adding the spines, the spine text to our um, book covers so that they are co will be completely ready for going off to KDP or the likes. So on that note, enjoy your covers, have fun and take care.